Okay, let's determine the greatest common factor of each set of monomials. So let's have this first item. We have 12x and 40. In order for us to get the greatest common factor of a monomial, we have to apply prime factorization. So let's get the prime factors of 12x and 40. So let's start with 12x. So 12x is equal to 3 times 2 times 2 times x. So yan yung prime factorization ni 12x. Then si 40, okay, the prime factors of 40 are 5 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, after getting the prime factors of our monomials, let's get the common factors. So the common factors are the following. We have 2 and 2. So let's multiply them. 2 times 2, that will give us the greatest common factor of this item, which will be equal to 4. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright! Okay, let's proceed to item number 2. Let's determine the GCF of 35m squared and 21m. So our first step in getting the GCF is for us to get the prime factors of our monomials. So kunin natin yung prime factors ni 35m squared and 21m. So start tayo kay 35m squared. Yung prime factors niya ay 7 times 5 times m times m. Then let's proceed to 21m. So the prime factors of 21m are 7 times 3 times m. Now that we got the prime factors of our monomials, let's proceed to finding the greatest common factor. So let's identify their common factor first. So our common factors are 7 and m, the variable m. Now, to get the greatest common factor, let's multiply the common factors. We have 7 times m, that will give us the greatest common factor, which is 7m. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's proceed to our third item. Let's determine the GCF of 15a squared b, 6a squared b squared, and 18a raised to 3b. In order for us to get the greatest common factors of these monomials, we must apply prime factorization and get the prime factors of each monomial. Okay, so let's start first with 15a squared b. So the prime factors of 15a squared b are 5 times 3 times a times a times b. Then, let's proceed to 6a squared b squared. So the prime factors of 6a squared b squared are 2 times 3 times a times a times b times b. Okay, let's proceed to 18a cubed b. So the prime factors of 18a cubed b are 3 times 3 times 2 times a times a times a times b. Okay, so yan yung prime factors ng ating monomials. After getting the prime factors of our monomials, let's identify their greatest common factor by identifying the common factors. So the common factors are we have 3, we have a, we have another a, and we have 1b. Ayan. Then, to get the greatest common factor, let's multiply all the common factors. We have 3 times a times a times b. That will be equal to our greatest common factor, which is 3a squared b. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have our fourth item. Let's determine the GCF of this set of monomials. So, para masagutan natin tong item na to, let's observe our given. So another way of finding the greatest common factor of a set of monomials, tapos ang given is puro variable, instead of listing, we're going to, we're going to list down the common variables. So dito sa ating set of monomials, mapapansin natin na lahat ng monomials na to merong variable x. So, underline lang natin lahat ng variable x natin. And let's copy that, place it in our greatest common factor. Now, in picking the exponent of our greatest common factor for the variable x, ang titignan natin is yung pinakamaliit na exponent. So, the smallest exponent of x in this set of monomials is 
to number 3. Ayan. So, yung pinakamalit na exponent ni x ng in this set is 3. And that will be the exponent of that variable x in our greatest common factor. So, lagay natin dito x raised to 3. Then, let's observe another common variable present in our monomials. So, we have the variable y. Okay. So, kopyahin natin yung variable y na yan. Then, our next step is to identify the smallest exponent of that variable y in our set of monomials. So, we have 3, 5, and 2. Ano yung pinakamaliit? Yun yung kukunin nating exponent for our greatest common factor. So, ang pinakamaliit is 2, and that will be the exponent of y for our greatest common factor. Okay? Now, tignan naman natin yung letter Z. Kung merong letter Z sa lahat ng ating monomial. Now, based on our given, yung second monomial natin walang letter Z. Therefore, hindi siya common factor. So, we will not copy the letter Z kasi wala, hindi siya common na factor. So, to conclude, our greatest common factor in this set of monomials is x cubed y squared. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have our fifth item. Let's determine the GCF of this set of monomials. So, in this set of monomials, we have 6m raised to 4, n raised to 4, 18m squared, n raised to 5, and 12m raised to 5, n raised to 3. So, in getting the greatest common factor of this set of monomials, let's focus our attention first in our numerical coefficient. Unahin natin kunin yung common factors ni 6, 18, and 12. So, in getting the common monomial factors of our numerical coefficient, we will get their prime factors. So, kunin natin yung prime factors ni 6, 18, and 12. Start tayo kay 6. So, 6 has a prime factors of 3 times 2. Si 18 naman, ang prime factors ni 18 ay 3 times 3 times 2. Okay? Kay 12 naman, ang prime factors niya, we have 3 times 2 times 2. Now, let's get their common factors. So, in getting the greatest common factor, kunin natin yung common muna na factors ni 6, 18, and 12. So, we have a common factor of 3. And a common factor of, now let's multiply them to get the GCF. So, 3 times 2, that is equal to 6. So, the greatest common factor of our numerical coefficient is 6. Pero we're not yet done kasi meron pa tayong mga variable. So, let's focus our attention dun sa variable. So, let's see if we have a common variable. So, tignan muna natin yung letter M na variable. So, we have letter M here. Meron din tayo sa second monomial at meron din tayo sa third monomial. So, kung meron silang tatlo, we will copy that variable and identify the greatest common factor of that variable. Now, in getting the greatest common factor of a variable, we will pick the smallest exponent of that variable. So, in this case, the smallest exponent of that variable is 2. So, kopyahin natin yung 2 at gawin natin exponent ni M sa GCF natin. Now, next, tignan natin kung merong N sa bawat monomial. So, meron tayong N dito sa first monomial natin. Sa second monomial, we ha also have an N. And meron din tayong N na variable sa ating third monomial. So, since lahat ng monomials natin may variable na N, we will copy that variable and then identify the greatest common factor of that variable. Now again, in getting the greatest common factor of a variable, we will pick the smallest exponent of that variable okay, on that set. So, ang pinakamaliit na variable ni n dito sa set of monomials ay 3. So, we will copy that and that will be the greatest common factor of that variable n. Okay, so... To finalize our answer, the GCF of this set of monomial is 6m squared n q. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.